All right, what's up, YouTube? Tarkov TV just finished, and I'm about to go through all the main things as I wrote them down. I'm going to show you all the main content uh, BG shared with us. But right before we start, uh, thank you, Gear Up, for sponsoring this video. This is the app I use to lower my ping and get better connection in Tarkov. So I'll see you right after the ad. Gear Up is basically an app that helps you reduce your ping and it gives you a stronger connection to the server. You know that feeling when you connect to the server, you look in the top right corner and you see like 5-10% packet loss and extremely high ping? Yeah? I don't like it either. So, how does the app work? It works really simple. You open the app, uh, you click on the button and you wait for the app to connect to the servers. And as you can see right now, my connection to NA West is 197 and after I connect it to Gear Up, it drops. It is lower. It is 164. So it literally decreased by 30. I am getting a 30 ping advantage. I've been talking about Gear Up on my stream and I received some positive feedback from the people that already used it. And uh, probably some of the most famous questions to answer. Uh, yes, it's easy to use. No, you will not get banned for using it because it literally works like a VPN, except servers getting selected automatically. Uh, thirdly, I've used it for over nine months, getting close to one year already, and I absolutely had no issues whatsoever. And a really important factor for people is that you can try it out for free. When you download it, you log in, and you can try it for free without entering any credit card details, no nothing. Download, try it out for free. If you like it, you can purchase it uh, and, and, and use it. So yeah. Give it a go, let me know how low of a ping you can get in Tarkov Launcher in the comments down below and uh, enjoy the video. Alright, so uh, Tarkov TV lasted for two hours and I'm gonna go through the most important things. So, first of all, Tarkov will be on PC Gaming Show on Sunday, June 9th, uh, where they might share some new information, so uh, keep your eye on that. Uh, Tarkov also will be on the U TwitchCon, and I believe they will also be on San Diego TwitchCon. So if you're attending TwitchCon, you might play Arena, you might uh, play a new version of Tarkov, whatever they are preparing for it. Linkage of Arena to EFT is important as it is a part of the main game. Arena is the part of the main game and BSG are um, putting, putting some force on that aspect. They really want to get like a deep connection between EFT and Arena. They're going to make some quests. Um, that work in Arena for EFT and vice versa. I'll tell, I'll tell you more about this in a second. All right, first of all, uh, you will be able to transfer items from Arena to Tarkov and vice versa. This will be done through the new trader and BG actually showed us uh, how it's going to look like on the screen. So this is how it's going to look like. This will be, I guess this is the Arena trader. As you can see, there is only one trader. Please don't do this. I'm recording a video. Thanks. Um, but yeah, this, uh, this is the trader that you will be able to use in Arena, Raf, Rafferty. Uh, you will be able to translate rubles from Arena as well as some cases. There will be some commission, for example, right now the guy is trying to transfer 325k and the commission is 40k, so it's not going to be free, but it's not going to be expensive either. All right, next thing that you need to know is that there is new clothing which will be available from the new trader as well. Um, and I think we'll be able to unlock this clothing by doing quests on Arena. So this is the setup for the bear. The, those three sets are for bears. And there's also three sets for Usex. Let me see if they're gonna show it in a second. Those are those ones are for Usex. On top of that, there will be a new um, I don't know, sword. This gives me huge Elden Ring vibes available from the new trader for some of the new coins. Um, and a lot of the stuff he'll be selling for GP coins. So now it's time to collect GP coins. He'll be selling helmets, weapons, cases, and a lot of many other things. All right. On top of that, he will be selling special keys, which look uh, just like this. There will be new rooms on all the maps, which will be unlockable only with those keys. Warren's hideout key. Uh, this is going to be like marked room key, basically, but the only way to get this key will be from the trader. So it's going to be rare loot rooms. And the only way to get those keys is to buy them from, from the trader. Um, yeah, so this uh, Lega, this, this thing is called Lega. This item will be um, for trades and it will be obtainable from Arena only. And uh, you will also be able to get this item from Arena Quests. Arena Crates, uh, unlockable in Hideout. 
Um, those cases will give you different weapons, different... Um, yeah, this thing. Different weapons, different attachments, some armors. If you were in the game during the event when BG released uh, packages for Halloween and you were unlocking them and getting random stuff as well as weapon cases, I guess this is something, this is something similar. So you'll be able to get quests like this from the new trader, like win three matches in a row in ranked mode on Arena and you get 40 GP coins and the new sword. Um, so yeah, there will, be, there will be many quests available in Arena. Is this playing? Hello? Yes. And this is how the screen is going to look in the hideout. You will be able to craft the new cases or like swap them one way or another uh, using your workbench. Uh, choo -choo 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 -choo. I think that's about it. All right. Sync of XP, weapon mastering and skills will be available with Arena. So whenever you earn progress will get transferred to EFT. So whenever you play Arena, all the skills progress, all the weapons mastering, all the skills progress you get is going to get transferred to your main PMC in EFT. Um, yeah, the new trader in EFT, daily quests, as well as usual quests will help you to unlock more viable um, options from him. Like, as you've seen, he sells some of the meta guns and some of them will not be available as soon as you open the game. You'll have to finish some of the quests for it. He will sell rare weapons, arena armbands, and special keys for locked rooms. There will be a special container called Vita Data. I think it's called Data. Data container, which you will also be able to get from Arena. I think Nikita is going to show it to us in a second. Why is it? Yeah. So this is how this is going to look like. It's like an extended version of Absalom, but with separate slots. It has 10 slots in total, so it's a little bit better than Gamma, unless you use uh, three slot items, like, for example, a Surf Kit. Um, so yeah, we'll be able to get it from the new trader, I guess, because it's connected to Arena, and only people that have Arena will be able to get this case. A week after Arena integration, which is supposed to happen early June, there will be another patch which will add new crates and you will need to use your hideout to craft those crates. What I've shown you like 30 seconds ago. Uh, there will be a new Arena game mode, which will be like planting the bomb. This is the picture for it. So classic Counter-Strike plant defense uh, kind of gameplay. I'm, I'm personally excited for it. I think it's going to be um, amazing. Uh, and there will be a new location um, as well. On top of that, let's talk a little bit about PvE. There will be client-side PvE only for single mode. So if you have PvE access and you want to play alone without friends, this session will be held on your PC. So you will instantly find the game. There will be no matchmaking and you'll just you'll just play on like on the local server that is made on your PC. Uh, Rishi series is ready. Uh, the new episode of Rishi is already out if you're interested in that. Uh, Unity 2023, maybe 2022, Nikita was a bit confused about this, so I'm not sure which version will be available on ETS soon. And uh, there will be an updated armor system, which will reduce RNG with the new armor heat zones. Armor will be simplified. All side front plates will have the same colliders, and collider size will be increased. So front plates will protect your collarbone and part of your armpit. In other words, armor will be more effective and you will die less to RNG neck shots and armpit shots. Uh, there will be a special place in game for polls and you will also get rewards if you participate in those polls. So make sure you do once polls are added into the game. There will be improvement of PvE AI in early June. Um, and there will be some skills changes. I'm not sure if those skills changes apply to PvP, but I'll guess so because I don't really think PvE skills make too much too much too much sense so bg will be disabling hearing bonus from perception uh there will be faster leveling of your skills in hideout there will be increased spawn of optics and an increased speed of leveling sniper skills so the bolt action skill um after this patch there will be a patch with a single pv update that i told you 20 seconds uh, ago about with instant matchmaking uh, and after that is released, all editions will be able to separately buy PvE access. So right now you cannot buy PvE. The only way to get PvE is if you had EOD or upgrading to Unheard Edition. After this patch is released, no matter what kind of edition you have, you will be able to buy uh, PvE separately. There will be a new questline uh, called Nostalgia, through which you will get all the bonuses from Unheard Edition. So I guess you 
will get the um, scav radio, which makes scavs friendly at 60 meters if you don't shoot them. And the most important thing, bigger pockets. You will get bigger pockets from the new quest. Um, so if you use a wish list on the flea market, it's going to be customizable in the future. There will be more options. On top of that, I think that's a big uh, that's a big thing. You will get compensation for reported cheaters. So if you report a cheater in the game and they get banned, you're going to get some money from it in the game, like 100k, I don't know, for example. I think hopefully BSG does it in such a way that no matter if you report it or you didn't report the cheater, you get compensation either way. Because if it works only for reported cheaters, everybody will just report everyone. Like, that makes the most sense. You just report every single death, and if some of them are cheaters, like, you get some of your money back. Uh, you will be able to reset your accounts in PvE mode in the future. It will not be done by BSG, just if you want to reset, you will be able to reset it. non found and raid flea market is going to stay in the game. Next swipe. BSG are working on the hideout cat. They're also designing some, so some sort of hardcore mode. Terminal, the new map. The new map terminal will be available in released version of the game. So whenever the game hits 1.0, um, terminal is going to be there and probably no earlier than that. Achievements do not reset on wipe, but progress is resetting on the wipe now. However, BSG will fix it in the future. So I'm not sure if the progress is going to reset with the next wipe. Um, so yeah, but in the future it shouldn't. Uh, there will be a patch 0.14.8.9 where BSG will add the uh, cultist jacket for the unheard edition. It will be done in early June. And the new cultist jacket will have, will have the hood mechanic. So basically, if you're playing with no helmet, you will have the hood on. And once you put the helmet on your PMC, your PMC is going to retract the hood back. That's how it's going to work like. Mods support is planned after the release. So as you know, SPT Tarkov has different mods. Maybe something similar will be available in Tarkov after the release. A new arena mode with the bomb plant will be available in July. Wipe is early August. Nikita said that wipe comes with 0 0.15 in early August. So here is the wipe date for you. And there will be a lot of different events beforehand. So we have like, what, two months? Two months left till the wipe. And there will be plenty of events per Nikita's words. All right, there will also be new hideout zones. Uh, they showed a couple of them on stream. Uh, you will be able to dress mannequins in your hideout. Put some guns, put some armors on them, some backpacks. And I think that was also available, there's like a cultist zone, some trash area. I don't really know what this is. Um, yeah, and this is the cultist area. There are also new guns coming to the game with the next patch. One of the guns is Uzi. So th this is how you customize the, the mannequins, basically. Like you put guns on them. Yeah, one of the new guns is Uzi. Uh, there will be a few versions of it available, I guess, like with suppressor, folded ones. There will be um, M60. I don't think they shot it on the stream, but this is how the gun looks like. Also, there will be like a SR3M available. It's like SR2M. Basically, another version of Val that's using the same caliber and has more modifications. So, it actually recorded with the old fog, guys. So, right now, we don't have this second layer of fog in the game. The best then I mean. Val itself is going to be reworked a little bit. They're going to add new model of Val into the game as well as some new She's animations. The, the weapons animation team is like the best. As, uh, right now, it's I think that's it about the guns. They are also adding bipods. You will be able to use bipods on different guns. You will be able to fold and unfold them. And you'll be able to able you will be able all you will be able to stick your guns onto different objects, and I hope that's gonna lower your recoil. So all the bipods, fans, the time has come. 
And it's not only limited to the bipods. We also have an option to stick in your weapon to the side of the walls. It will also give you in uh, decreased recoil. This reminded me of Call of Duty, if I'm honest. So I don't know if I'll, like, I don't know. Uh, yeah, basically sticking guns to walls is coming into the game as well. Cool. Uh, more options to use uh, the guns. Always nice. All right, let's move on. Factory will be totally reworked with the new graphics and maybe BG will keep old factory in the game uh, as a some sort of an event or something. So yeah, factory is going to be completely reworked. So it's going to look very different. Uh, there will be a new event location to location traveling as well as there will be mortar strike events in the future. Uh, you can see some of that in Nikita's Twitter. Uh, there will be trip wires and landmines added to the game, which we as PMCs will be able to install. AI will be able to install those as well. Uh, on top of that, we'll be able to trap dead bodies too. Also, there will be a diffusing mine mechanic, and there will be a new boss, Partizan, which will literally, who will literally booby trap everything. He will also hunt down bad players, PMCs with low PMC karma. And at first, PMC Karma will lock, will work as a secret, like nobody's gonna know how to level it up, how you lose the Karma. But Nikita gave an example of if you sit in a bush at extraction for too long, that PMC Karma is gonna lower for you, and that boss is gonna hunt you down. BG are gonna slow the progression rate in PvE a little bit to make sure that people can play it longer. Desert Eagle is confirmed. Desert Eagle is coming to the game. BG are working on, on fixing gear clipping, for example, like when you wear a backpack and your backpack clips through your armor and it looks weird. Uh, you will be able to select which grenade to throw by holding G, just like as you can select which uh, mag uh, you want to use or which part of your body you want to heal. Uh, armbands for both shoulders will be available in the main game as an arena. So right now in the game you wear armband only on the left shoulder and you will be able to wear those armbands on both of the shoulders, so it's easier for your teammates to see that you're friendly. Uh, there will be audio changes, BG will work on environmental sounds, they will work on optimization of sounds, so it sounds better and eats less FPS. There will be adjustments for active headsets, so all the headsets will have the same range, and I guess will sound more or less equal, so there is no OP headset in the game. Um... Yeah, and BG will also balance uh, the sounds based on the speed of the PMC traveling the surface. And they will also balance the AI and PMC volume of voice lines. So if you spam F1 and your PMC shout something, maybe it's going to be quieter, maybe it's going to be loud, depending on the distance. There will be opti FPS optimization on all locations. And a lot of optimization will be done on streets. Hopefully, by the end of this year, uh, optimization should be as good as possible. Uh, August patch in Arena, there will be new custom presets. So if you play Arena, you will be able to assemble your own preset based on different points and play with that preset. And there will be more stuff that is related to the Arena to EFT linkage. In September, there will be TwitchCon San Diego. In October, there will be a huge event, which Nikita didn't announce. He didn't say what the event will be. But I have a feeling maybe it's going to be uh, Tarkon, which he talked about in the past year, like where BG will rent out a huge area and like do some tournaments there maybe fly streamers out so that's my guess but who knows rewards for achievements will be permanent for example kill attracts you if you get kill attracts you this wipe um you get the achievement and in the future if you have this achievement you can instantly buy kill attracts you so whenever the wipe happens you're level one since you have the achievement, you can instantly buy Killer's tracksuit, or maybe you'll need to reach like level twenty or thirty or forty, but whatever. You wouldn't need to kill Killer. You wouldn't need to kill Killer fifty times. Same goes for armbands. Some of the new achievements will give you new armbands. You will be able to interact with your stash while matching, so you'll be able to like sell things, buy things. I don't know. You will be able to view inventories of other party members while loading into the raid. BG also plan on adding smooth zooming optics, so if you use Voodoo, it's not going to go from 1x to 6x, you will be able to smoothly transition. Uh, this is coming after October patch. There will be new weapons, there will be a new autumn season with a new weather. If you play in PvE, you will be able to select the season and the difficulty with which you play. BG plans to improve PvP with different PvP related events. Uh, maybe packing mags will have an animation, so you will be able to pack your mags and walk at the same time. 
Continuous healing is planned, so if you're healing using Saluva, you can heal your one arm, and then without stopping animation, you can start healing your second arm. Uh, scavs might be able to scav only into random maps until they get high scav karma, possibly. And there will be some sort of kill cam available in EFT. So if you die to someone, somehow you will be able to rewatch it, report the player if the death is sus, um, and yeah. That's about it. BG also said they will release a um, a roadmap, which is not available at the moment. You should check that Twitter. Maybe it's available now. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, give this video a thumbs up and tell me down in the comments below what of those changes, what of the upcoming things you will uh, enjoy the most. And thank you so much for watching the video. I will see you in the next one. Take care.